Good afternoon, everybody. This is Bassam Haddad. I'm the host of the uh, very important emergency teach-in series with my colleagues, Adel Skandal and uh, Sinan Antoun. Today's emergency teach-in, we will be discussing the very critical topic, is anyone or anything not Hamas? With our experts, Sinan Antoun, our cultural landscape expert, Adil Skandar, our media landscape expert, and myself, our social science expert. A quick intro to the speakers before we move forward. Sinan Antoun is a poet, novelist, scholar, and translator. He is associate professor at New York University. Adil Skandar is an associate professor of global communication at Simon Fraser University and director of the Center for Contemporary Muslim Studies. I'm Bassam Haddad founding director of the Middle East and Islamic Studies program and associate professor at the Shar School at George Mason University. Welcome, Adil and Sinan. Thank you, Bassam. Thanks. Hello, Sinan. Today's topic, as I shared, is very sensitive. On the heels of the change or that of the charge, on the heels of the charge of genocide against Israel at The Hague, the defendants made it abundantly clear that everything except the IDF and Golda Meir, Ukhalta, is Hamas. After killing more than 30,000 Palestinians and starving and displacing most of the remaining 2.3 million, it is frankly difficult to argue against that. Over the last 100 days, the word Hamas has been uttered 3.6 billion times by politicians and pundits. Journalists can't stop taking, talking about Hamas. It's just a fact. Hundreds of analyses describe who is Hamas. But the question that hasn't been asked yet is, who is not Hamas? Huh? Join our illustrious panel of experts, the hosts of the podcast, Three Arabs And, which will probably never be recorded in revealing the truth. Vamos a la Bahamas, Bahamas, vamos a la, vamos a la Bahama, Bahamas, vamos a la Bahamas. Adil, we're going to start with you as our social media landscape expert. Can you tell us who is or is not Hamas? <clears throat> Thank you so much, Bassem, uh, for posing this really critical questions. Um, as media scholars, we analyze depictions, portrayals, and representations of various things. In this case, we're examining Hamas a little bit more closely. So what our findings have revealed is that uh, children in general, as a category, are Hamas. Uh, a subcategory of that, babies, to be more precise, are also have been proven to be Hamas. Uh, bulldozers, uh, are Hamas because of the manner in which they are utilized by Hamas or non. Watermelons as a fruit is definitely Hamas. Um, Arabic numerals, like the ones behind now, I should probably shift my screen away from those, uh, are also Hamas as well as the language, the Arabic language itself. Uh, pens are used by Hamas sometimes, so therefore they're Hamas. Papers, so beware and be cautious as you use paper. Calendars and the use of calendars, Hamas. The sewers underneath our cities and our homes are also Hamas because they are tunnels, essentially, and nobody knows what's in a tunnel. Doors with their doorknobs, windows, which can bring in Hamas air into your space is dangerous. So windows themselves are Hamas. Phones, whether they're used or not used, are Hamas. Parachutes, uh, water, in fact, uh, because in many instances it can be infiltrated by Hamas. So water itself, be very cautious in your use of water. Even mineral, mineral water, be very cautious. A pre-opened bottle can also be infiltrated by Hamas. Ma'lube, a national dish in Palestine, because of the manner in which it's unsettled and unsettling, is also Hamas. Olive oil is a critical Hamas instrument. So be careful with your use of olive oil. I would strongly suggest a full boycott against uh, olive oil. Uh, hijab and non clear. Uh, in both instances, Hamas. Uh, Bella Hadid, I think that's a, a dead giveaway. All the Hadids, in fact, and the Haddads. Uh, mosques, churches, 
crosses, crescents, Bibles, Qur'ans, and Bhagavad Gita's as well, uh, also Hamas. Former porn stars, surprisingly for many of you, uh, like Mia Khalifa, Hamas, absolutely, no equivocation there. Even colors are not innocent. The color green, Hamas's flag colors, uh, is absolutely subject to condemnation. Many are calling for the United Nations Security Council to designate uh, uh, the color green um, Hamas color and therefore ban it completely. In fact, uh, the color green alone doesn't suffice, removing all shades of green completely from our palettes. That includes teal. I'm sorry, everyone. It is not only that, but also uh, many, you know, in addition to that, I think what, banning green is important. Why? Because the United Nations needs to repent for its actions and expressions. The Secretary General of the UN, Antonio Guterres, outrageously stated that Gaza has become a graveyard for children. Children, of course, as we listed previously, is Hamas, but graveyards are also Hamas. And then citing international law, which he has been repeatedly doing for, for some time, international law itself is Hamas. But even going as far as calling for a ceasefire, that alone is a clear endorsement for Hamas, since all ceasefires everywhere are Hamas. So that being said, as media scholars, we also focus on media. The media themselves are Hamas. Of course, Al Jazeera, Al Arabiya, Al Mayadeen, Al Furat, Al Mamlaka, Al Jadid, Al Safir. In fact, anything that starts with Al is Hamas. Al Green, Al Sharpton, Al, Frank, Al Franken, and even Weird Al Yankovic. I'm sorry to dis disappoint the 80s and 90s generation on that one. But even the most loved Western media, the bulk of pro Israel support, have turned out to be Hamas sleeper cells. I know this will surprise you. The New York Times showed its true Hamas colors when describing Gazans as mildly uncomfortable uh, due to Israel's bombings. That is a testament to their Hamas allegiances. The Washington Post, clearly a Hamas outpost for interviewing someone who knows a Palestinian. Again, shocking news. I hope you're able to process this. In fact, we have also found that all people born on that godforsaken day of October 7th throughout history are also Hamas. That includes wow. notable names like Vladimir Putin, Yo-Yo Ma, Edgar Allan Poe, Simon Cowell, not watching American Idol from now on, Desmond Tutu, we used to say God rest his soul, now I don't know what to say anymore, John Mellencamp, Elijah Muhammad, Oliver North, that patriotic citizen, Dan Savage, George Mason, for whom universities are named, and King Charles III of France himself. Honestly, this is very difficult to come back from. As media scholars, we also utilize qualitative research methodologies to ascertain information. And in this case, we have a very, very special opportunity for our listeners. We have an exclusive interview with someone to examine whether or not they have Hamas allegiances. The biggest question of all, is Muhammad Salah supportive of Hamas? And so today we get to speak to Muhammad Salah. Thank you, Mo, for joining us today. Uh, the question on everybody's mind is, are you a member of Hamas or do you support Hamas? The silence speaks for itself. I don't know what to say. Um, rest assured, we continue to examine this question. In the meantime, hang in everybody. Stay safe. Thank you very much, Adil. We will now turn to myself. Bassam, uh, who um, will be addressing the social science perspective. And as a social science expert, I must add the word global to my analysis, if only to scare the shit out of people. Those paying attention will not be fooled by Hamas's clandestine global mega takeover. Today, it is indubitable, indubit, indubit, indubitable, indubitable. Today, it is indubitable that the UN is Hamas. Yeah. Doctors Without Borders are Hamas. South Africa is Hamas. And of course, it goes without saying, Scooby-Doo is Hamas. And clearly the Pope is Hamas. But it doesn't stop here. The BGs 
the BGs and John Travolta are Hamas. The BGs, they sing about too much heaven, right? Which, as you know, these guys love heaven. They're also Hamas. And what do you think they were saying and singing when they were singing, staying alive, and they would be saying, ha, 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 ha. You think they were just saying, ha, 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 ha. It's actually ha, 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 which was never completed because they don't want to be canceled. Yeah. Also, and I have to say this, anytime anyone travels anywhere, they are Hamas. For Hamas is not just the destination, it's the journey, which brings us to the realization that the band Journey is also Hamas. Yeah, I know. And especially all scrutiny, on escaping all scrutiny, escaping all scrutiny, given Hamas is so hard to find, Eddie Mercury is Hamas. How do you think a South Asian guy living in London in the 1980s came up with the word Mercury? Huh? Bruce Springsteen, the American hero, wasn't messing around when he sang Tunnels of Love. I think it's a coincidence. I don't think it's a coincidence. Ile Hamas Osi. Finally, the star of the box office movie hit Blue Lagoon, Brooke Shields, is actually also Hamas. She was converted by her brother, Human Shields. Yeah. I'm done. I'm done, folks. We will now move on to... Oh, wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. Any inverted triangle or even an upright one is also Hamas. Sinan, I am done with my take on this. Can you, as our language and culture landscape expert, share with us your answer to this bewildering question, who is and who is not Hamas? Thank you, Bassam. I'm I'm trying to collect myself here and to just recover from these harrowing revelations. But I must urge you and Adil and all of our colleagues out there to take heed and take this subject seriously. Our scrutiny as to who is, who was, who will be, who could be Hamas and who isn't must not be circumscribed and limited to the here and now. Cir circum circumscribed oh. or circumcised whatever you want presentism is a slippery slope and will be exploited by hamasists and as you both showed they are everywhere and everything so serious scholarship must be both vigilant and also creative and imaginative just this morning and i just printed it out i received the results of an interdisciplinary and intergalactic study conducted by Israeli scholars at the Ben Shapiro University, together with a distinguished group of German scientists from the Rassismus Institute. And the study found out that scores of people and entities and particles in previous centuries were all found to be either potential Hamas operatives or sympathizers. Their study conducted, concluded sorry, with recommendations for governments in the free world to allocate funds for further studies that are future oriented. So we get to know who will be Hamas in the future and who is Hamas. And there is more. The respected Israeli Center for the Prevention of Palestine based in Tel Aviv published a study entitled Hamas Vor Dem Brief or Hamas avant la lettre, showing that using the giant Mark Regev telescope, scientists have detected Hamas activity on Mars and potentially the moon as well. And this is very disconcerting. Now, upon hearing this 
disturbing news. Elon Musk, ever so gracious and generous, announced in a joint conference with Daniel Hagari, the eloquent spokesperson of the Israeli Defense Forces, that he will be funding a spaceship to help, yes, a spaceship to help catch Hamas fighters hiding among civilians on the moon and in tunnels. There are tunnels in the moon leading to other planets. Now, Hagari indicated that the operation will be codenamed the Dark Side of the Moon, and it will be inaugurated with a three-month campaign of bombing the moon. And he cautioned any astronauts hanging out there or whatever to evacuate as soon as possible and to go to other planets. The moon, he said, must be free from Hamas. Thank you. Thank you so much, everyone. Thanks, Adil, and thanks, Sinan. And thanks to myself as well. Uh, I'm going to ask before we um, conclude this very critical discussion, it's very sensitive, as I said, by asking you if you have any last words. No, nothing further. Thank you. Guys, guys, fantastic news. NPR has just reported that the FDA has approved a home test kit to oh. check whether or not you're Hamas. That's great. Damn. 